Jan decided it would be a great idea to leave his passport at the last, like, five hours away, six hours away. What was that? Well, you. Yeah. Let's see. The name of it is uh, the waterfall of... Cascada de qué? De Tamul. De Tamul. No, no, no. El, ah, el río. El río es el río Gallinas. The river of Gallinas. Oh yeah, Jan. Don't go to Mexico. It's dangerous. Ah! What was that? Well, yeah. We can't, can't find any Ubers. So we're walking. Everything kind of shuts down. They don't drive past 10 p.m. for some reason in the town of uh, Tampico. Me and Jan are gonna hit the road. We're gonna hit Puebla. Stop there for some food, take some tequila, and then we're heading to Oaxaca. We woke up very early. Let's get it. We don't have any money for the tow road. We ran out of cash. All we have is 50 US. They're like, no, we're like, card. They said, no. We said, can you change? 50 for a thousand. They said, ooh, that's a tough break. We're not gonna exchange what it's worth. So we're gonna give them, it should be a thousand pesos. I asked for 800 pesos. We got the guy out. with the guns coming over. Okay. Yeah, no, sorry, bro. The 800, we don't even have 800 here. All we have is a 700. And we just started laughing and I said, okay, I'll exchange here. No, 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 go over there, Wedo. There's no cameras, so. And now he's gonna shoot us. <laughs> and now he's gonna shoot us. We did it. He traded us 700 instead. But the man with the money gets his way. And then we saw some other stupid Americans that were stuck and they're like, Skid, do they speak English? And I was like, you're on your own, Un saludo para todos mis valedores del YouTube. That guy just said, what's up to everybody on YouTube? We keep crossing tow roads, we have no money. I kind of only brought four US dollars to this trip in Mexico, my ATM card doesn't work. We are down to 120 pesos and six US dollars and the next ATM is one hour away. We keep hitting tolls, yo. We keep running out of money. It's been comical and comical. And finally, Chance like, motherfucker. We've been pulling in the gas station. It's not working. We finally found somewhere. They did charge me 10%, but I just pulled out 3,000 pesos, dude. We're rich, dude. Don't come to Mexico. We just got to Puebla, Mexico. Puebla, Mexico. Jan decided it would be a great idea to leave his passport at the last, like, five hours away, six hours away. We called the place. They found it. We're having them mail it to our next destination, which is in Oaxaca. We're gonna get a shot or two, get some food, let it settle, and then we're gonna get back on the road. I'm asking her where I can get the best tacos. How many are Acá la vuelta, al final de la calle venden los tacos. Gracias. Sí, por nada, dime, dime. All right, she told us to walk down that way, and we're gonna get some good street tacos and uh, some nopales, which is a uh, cactus. Boom. Tacos árabes. It's time for some tacos in Puebla, and we're gonna go get the local drink, which, which is called La Pasita. Don't come to Mexico. Boom, what's this? Good to see you. Hola, what's this? Final de cobro 100 pesos. Ah, no es cierto. Se llaman qué? Mira, qué es otra cosa. Classic drink of Puebla. Cheers. 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 <laughs> the line opened up immediately. They opened up this place, got packed. Apparently on our way out of uh, Puebla, we made a traffic violation, which we didn't. But some cop rolled up and said, hey man, that, that you shouldn't have done. Why did you do that? Where, where are you guys going? And I'm like, Oaxaca. And he's like, oh man, you gotta pay for the traffic violation. Okay, we're gonna take you back. It's 2000. And I was like, dude, we're already leaving. I only have 500 on me. It's because you have to pay, you have to pay. And he's like, 2,000. And he gets the radio like he's gonna call and I'm like, dude. And then I'm with, with Jan. Jan's like, dude, just, just fucking, just pay. So you give him the money and I'm like, 
And he's like, hey man, I'm looking out for you. Keep it down, keep the money down. I'm looking out for you, man. I'm like, yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, bro. There's three lanes in Mexico. There's a left lane, the right lane, and the middle lane. Anyone tells you anything different, don't believe them. This is the, the way. Ande? No, gracias, soy bien. We just got our hotel in Oaxaca. Let's check in. So, uh, I was at a rooftop bar with my buddy. Oh my God. And we see these two smoking hot girls and we're drinking, you know, mezcal. And I say, you know what, dude, I'm gonna grab the courage. I'm gonna go talk to him. I build it up, I build it up, I build it up. And I'm like, all right, that's it. I put my drink down. You know, guys joke around with each other and you say things that are not true. So he looks at me and he's like, they're literally making out right now. And I'm like, no, they're not. I put my glass on, I turn around, sure enough. Boom. I just started laughing. They're like, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. It was funny. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. <laughs> if you look over my shoulder, there was paintings that were upside down and they represented conquered civilizations. For foreigners that would come and visit, they would see how many other, I guess, tribes, if you will, that they conquered. So that's what the upside down heads and sculptures are. All right, we're about to go on a little taco tour. This is the first one. Which one? Chile relleno. I'm gonna get chile relleno. What does that mean? Chile relleno. Uh. It's <laughs> a <laughs> chile. It, that's what it is. It's a chili. Chile relleno. Oh, cool. It's yeah. a chili and it's stuffed. All right, here it goes. <sighs> oh, that's spicy. So good. 50 pesos for two tacos. So 25 pesos a taco is so good. But we're going to go try some more. We got some uh, Jamaica. That is the hangover cure in Mexico. Like my mom used to tell me that. And I asked right now, oh, it's for the hangover, right? Super good. I think I need to get one of these for my mom. The city of Oaxaca is known for its mezcal. I got a local mezcal. I would drive to go show you all where the mezcal is and how they make it. But I'm just, we've been driving 10 hour days, six hour days. I just don't really feel like driving 40 minutes over there, showing the tour 40 minutes back. Maybe, maybe I do, but as of right now, I don't think so, but cheers. Motherfucker.